word problem on proportions, problem type one. Uh, Chow, I think is how you say that, runs six miles in 50 minutes. At the same rate, how many miles would he run in 35 minutes? So we've done a couple of videos now on proportions. One of the main things you want to do is be consistent when you're building your um, proportion. So if you notice down here, and they started building it for us, so I don't necessarily need to rewrite it here. We'll, we'll write it on the next page. Um, but for this one, if you notice, miles are both on top in blue. Minutes are both on the bottom. So we want to be consistent. Once we decide miles go on the top, both, per, both fractions or ratios have to have miles on the top and then minutes on the bottom. So we can't flip-flop that or it won't work out correctly. Once we have it written, we can kind of ignore the um, units, the miles and the minutes. Having them in here makes it a little bit more complicated. So once we know it's six miles, 50 minutes, Q miles and 35 minutes, we can go ahead and ignore the units. And we just have six over 50, Q over 35. This makes it a little easier instead of having to um, cancel out all of the units later. So now we just cross multiply and we get 50 times Q, which is how they got 50 Q, six times 35. So they get six times 35. Um, and instead of multiplying first, they went ahead and divided by 50. So they're kind of doing two steps here at once. So they still have six times 35 here and they're dividing by 50. When they divided by 50 on both sides, it canceled which is why you don't see 50 anymore. So I'll show you all these steps on the next page here too, because um, I do write out the steps a little bit um, in, in more detail, I'll say it that way. And then they went ahead and they finally did six times 35 divided by 50 and they got 4.2. So in 35 minutes at that same rate, you should be able to run 42 miles. All right, let's go ahead and start because it'll make a little more sense when we're actually doing it. So Josh drove 268 miles using 12 gallons of gas. So right away, we know we're going to have two different things. We're talking about miles, and we have gallons. And I'm, I'm being a little dramatic with my, my um, proportion here and, and how I have it filled in, just because I want to make sure you understand once you choose the top for something and the bottom for something. It has to be the same for both. So we know that he drove 268 miles and he used 12 gallons. So miles, gallons. Miles is on top, gallons is on the bottom. The question says at this rate, so at the same exact rate, how many miles would he drive using nine gallons of gas? We know how many gallons, nine. But we don't know how many miles he would drive, so we'll do M for miles. And now we're going to start cross multiplying here. So we have 268 times 9 equals 12 times m. And they do allow you to use your calculator here. So you can write it out if you want. Oops, if I put the right numbers in. So 268 times 9 equals, so I'm going to move my, whoops, move this. Dang it, move over just so it's not in the way here. So I get 2,412 equals 12M. And ignore this, this was me trying to move the calculator. All right, so then we divide by 12 on both sides. And we get, let's see, so it's already in here, so I can click divided by 12 equals, so I get 201 equals 12 divided by two cancels, M, and this is miles. So I know he can go 201 miles on nine gallons of gas at that same rate. So we check it and we're good. All right, next, clear. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. On the blueprints of a house, 44 millimeters represents eight meters. So as soon as I read that first sentence, I know I can separate it out. I have um, millimeters and I have meters. And I'm going to have two proportions. We need two proportions in order to cross multiply and solve. So now I know the blueprint of the house is 44 millimeters and it represents eight meters for the bottom. The length of the living room is 33 millimeters on the blueprint. 
so 33 millimeters, what is the actual length of the room? So we don't know, let's go with L for length. We could have gone for M for meters too, totally up to you. So now we're gonna start cross multiplying here. So we have 44 times L equals eight times 33. 44 times L is 44L equals, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my handy calculator here. And I have eight times 33. And you can definitely do this kind of stuff, mental math too. Um, just depends on your your math skills there. I want to make sure this is an L that looks slightly like a 2 to me, so don't want anyone to get confused. Um, and then we're going to divide by 44 on both sides so that we can get this L by itself. So we have 44 divided by 44, that cancels. L equals, and we just need to go back to our calculator here and hit divided by 44 equals, and we get 6. So the actual length of the living room is six meters. So we type in six here and we click check. And we got it. Next, let's go ahead and clear this out. Okay. So we have a certain medicine is given an amount per in, a, in an amount proportional to a patient's body weight. Suppose a patient weighing 104 pounds requires 130 milligrams of medicine. So we know we're going to be dealing with pounds and milligrams. Two, two proportions. All right, so the first one it says, a person that's 104 pounds gets 130 milligrams. 104 pounds, 130 milligrams. What is the weight of a patient, so we don't know the weight, um, who requires 278.75 Milligrams, so they're being very specific there, aren't they? But we know it's milligrams that so it goes in the bottom. So let's start cross multiplying here. I'm going to write it off to this side this time. 278.75 equals 130 times W. All right, let's grab our calculator here. So we have 104 times 278.75. Seven five equals two twenty eight thousand nine hundred ninety equals one hundred thirty W. And all I have to do is um oh I'll write it first. We need to divide by thirty on both sides, one hundred thirty on both sides, because we want these to cancel. So we just have W equals. So we need to know what that weight is. So we're going to divide by one hundred thirty. And that's going to equal 223 pounds. All right, so 223 pound person requires 278.75 milligrams of whatever this medicine is. They just said a certain medicine. All right, we finished another one.